we'll get started with questions for Keely. We will start with Mark Weiser and go to Mike Griffith. Hey, Keely, how are you? Very well, very well yourself. Good, thank you. Uh, tell me just about, you know, the first two games for you, uh, a couple obviously tough pass interference uh, calls the first game and then this last game bouncing back with a big interception and, and kind of your mindset as you uh, get this, uh, you know, all this big experience now. I'm going into my first game against Clemson. Um, it was a lot of emotions. My first time actually getting to the collegiate level playing football. Um, I mean, like, just being able to rely on my teammates and also my coaches um, and seeing the support of my family. Uh, it was a lot of emotions out there. I felt pretty well. Um, we we're greatly prepared um, going to my um, past interferences, just being able to um, stay poised and look, um, keep my head around um, going down the field is something that we worked on um, this entire past week going up into UAB. And I was able to execute that. And I came away with my first um, interception. It was a great feeling, man. Um, it was unexplainable. And I'm greatly blessed to have this opportunity. Thanks. Okay, we will go to Chip Towers and then Anthony Dasher. Yeah, Keely, we, we all know a little bit about your mom's story. Uh, she, she got a lot of airtime uh, on Saturday. And I just wondered, uh, uh, I guess there was probably nobody on planet Earth more thrilled about that interception than her, than her. Can you just, uh, you know, update us a little bit on her situation? Obviously, your relationship with her and and anything you might have heard from her afterward about that uh, about that interception in particular. Seeing from the picture, um, you could you could see all the emotions that she had about seeing her kid go out there and have her first um, have his first interception at um, at UGA, especially it being at Sanford was a huge accomplishment as well. Last year, I wasn't able to play, so my, my mom see me um, go, go throughout that process and struggling um, mentally, just, just trying to stay locked in and engaged um, and just looking forward to the next opportunity, honestly. So just, just, just continuing to be prepared. And um, I'm, my mom, I'm sure as soon as I made that play, she just thought about all the things that I had gone through and um, I was able to seize the moment. She was really proud. Hey, Keely, good to see you. I want to ask you about Brock Bowers just a second. And uh, obviously there was a lot of buzz about him back in spring and even leading, going into summer. I was wondering, though, was there like a moment for you during practice or a scrimmage when maybe he did something that kind of had the wow factor to you, kind of convince you, hey, this guy may be something a little extra special? Yes, sir. Um, most definitely. Brock Bowers is a, is a great player. Um, I was actually able to guard him myself a good amount of times. Just, just how he's able to use his body against um, anybody that's guarding him, whether it's linebackers or safeties, he's able to get open. Um, you, even against corners himself. So he's being really agile and, and how fast he is with great strong hands and, um, and a wide catch radius is a big thing to his advantage. Okay, we'll go to Seth Emerson and then Jake Rowe. I'm good, thanks. Okay, Jake. Keely, uh, when you guys are coming together as a secondary in the preseason. Obviously, you're, you're, you know, Darian Kendrick is new to the team. You know, Jalen Kimber's fighting for a job. You're fighting for a job. Amir's fighting for a job. What was kind of like that, that competition like for you from your perspective? Was it a day-by-day -day thing? Was there any ups and downs for you during that whole competition? How, how did it go? Everybody um, in the defensive back um, secondary is, is greatly talented. Everybody's able to do something. Um, in a great way. That's obviously the, the reason why each and every single one of us are at the University of Georgia. So um, just, just being able to help each other, learn plays and, and just be able to um, help each other with our abilities and just continue to tell each other uh, how we could play a situation better. Then um, I feel like just being able to lean on each other was a huge thing that, that, that was definitely able to bring each other up to any occasion, whether it's practice, training camp, or even in the games as well. Okay, we'll go to Drew Hubbard and then Palmer Tomes. Hey, Keely, um, earlier in the season, how was it working uh, with Coach Muschamp in the defense and getting used to a new coach here at Georgia? Coach Muschamp is a great coach. Um, he's, co he's coached with Coach Kirby Smart 
um, a good amount throughout, throughout their career as well. So um, coming in, we had a lot of trust in him. He, um, he, 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 he coached with us last year as well for a little bit of time going into the bowl game. So uh, just, just building a relationship early with him. We knew uh, he can coach, he's coached some of the best players and, and also with, um, some of the best coaches of all time in college football. So it was, it was a great way to easily um, build a relationship with him. So, yeah, so. Keely, I wanted to ask you about last season. What were your emotions like not being able to play? And, and you know, how did you use the time that you were around the program to help you going into this year, uh, maybe off the field mentally or on the field uh, with, with your input and stuff like that? Um, selfishly, it was pretty hard, honestly, just um, being told that, that I was going to be able to come to the University of Georgia and help right away, honestly. But um, that setback, I feel like that was something I needed mentally to be able to uh, give me something hard in my life that I could go through and know that uh, if, if I'm able to go through this and um, keep myself up day in and day out and stay engaged um, scheme-wise with the coaches and um, also my players, I feel like see, seeing my teammates every single day work hard and just um, looking forward to really being a part of that really helped me stay up and um, stay on the right foot every single day. Okay, we'll go to Connor Riley and then Roddy Nabolsi. Hey, Keely, I wanted to ask you about Channing Tindall. What is he sort of like on the practice field? And in, in talking with him, it seems like he has really great energy. Is that apparent to you guys when you see him out there on the field? Yes, sir, most definitely. Channing Tindall, he's one of those players you feed off his energy. You look at him and you already know he's ready to go. He just gives you that look and it's like, man, I'm here. I got you if you got me. And that's definitely something that you definitely need to, um, around your team for sure. And just the way he flies to the ball and stuff like that, it's like, if you're not playing to his standard or um, or above that, then what are you doing, honestly? Keely, walk us through the interception you had. Tell us the play call and how it went how it went down and what was going through your mind when the ball was in the air, because that was a pretty impressive catch. Thank you. Um, we were in a 3D scheme. Um, the ball was on the other side of the um, – was on the other hash, the opposite hash. So I was, I was covering about 30 to 40 yards worth of ground. Um, I wasn't too I wasn't too sure about what the offense was going to do initially, but um, the, they motioned the tight end from the opposite side of the field to um, to my side, and that put me in a bail technique because originally I was pressing him. I was pressing him. It was a single X, and uh, I started to bail. As soon as the receiver came off the ball, he started running pretty hard to sell vertically. He stutters his feet, and I started to slow down with him. And after that, I knew he was going to be he was going to be coming deep. Um, I peeked to the inside a little bit, and I knew the quarterback was going to throw it deep. So at that point, it was really just me turning into the receiver and, and being able to play the ball at the highest point, which is why I kind of slowed down to be able to grip, to be able to grab it at the highest point, of course. So it was a great feeling, man. Um, really unexplainable the way I felt after I caught the ball. I was like, man, I, I really just did that in Sanford Stadium. And I was like, uh, just continuing to stay humble and, and, and continue to be able to execute my things day in and day out. And I feel like I have a lot more opportunities. Okay, we have time for two more questions for Keely. Keely, talking about that interception there, you know, it seems like a lot of that came from, you know, tape study, knowing the opponent's tendencies and stuff. Is that something you felt like, you know, you would have been able to do last year? Or is that the type of thing that came from those mental reps and, you know, developing the mental side of your game while you were out last year? Mental reps are a huge thing. They're, they're, they're greatly underestimated, man. Uh, that's why anytime a player is hurt, Coach Smart's like, man, if you're not if you're not getting the play call, if you're not seeing what the offense is doing, then then you're wrong. Because it, it, like when you get on the field and, and when it's your turn, you can definitely play much more faster, and, and and things happen much slower for you. So you so you can react to things ten times faster on the field. So I feel like mental reps are a huge aspect of the game. Keely, what will be your your final takeaway from the Clemson game? And I know you know you had the pass interferences, but when you look back on it. You know, now that now that you're starting to grow, what's going to be your takeaway as you move forward? Um, as you're saying about the past interference, just um, being able to believe in myself. Uh, I feel like after those happened, I was like, man, uh, I I just need to, be, need to be able to rely on my training more. I feel like um, once the balls were in the air, I was kind of fighting with the receiver a little bit too much. So I feel like just having poise, just being able to relax when the ball's in the air, and you know, and you know the ball's coming to you, um, looking for the ball and making a play on the ball as I did in the UAB game. So I feel like when, when you're able to have poise 
and just relax any situation. I, I feel like you, you can rely on your technique and get the job done. All right, thank you, Keely.